I look like such a grandpa in this thing. I gotta show you. Hold on. It's not that bad. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe with the shoes, maybe you can tell what I'm going for here. What is up, party people? Today, we are playing Minecraft. It's obviously been a long time since I've recorded anything, and I have never done a video with face cam, and I've never played Minecraft before on this channel, so... A whole new collection of things. Basically, what's gone down is people at work have been making a lot of Minecraft videos. So I decided today that I'm going to have a go. We're going to be playing on one... What version are we on? 1.20.5. And we're going to be naming our world Minecraft... Exclamation mark. World. Pretty sure I was like 10 when I played this game for the first time. So without further ado, I've pressed it. We're going to create the new world. Oh, wow, dude. I've just... Wow, what a great little starting area that I've... That I've found here. First try. Well, let's set off on our adventure, everybody. We have some goals for this video. We always have goals. First up, I need to shield up. We're going to be getting full iron tools and armor in this video. We're going to be scouting for some diamonds and we're going to be building a house. We're going to find a nice little spot to settle down and we're just going to have the best time. And without further ado, let's get started. We're going to punch our first tree. These trees are annoying. I am a tree completionist. It's a whole thing to take down a full acacia trees by yourself. So this is definitely not my favorite biome. I'm not a huge fan of the, what are these? Savannah's biomes or something, but that's okay. First up, classic little punch tree wooden pickaxe moment. I'm going to skip making the wooden tools because I've got a little cave right here. So let's just go straight to stone. There is no time to waste here. Oh, there's a little pillager outpost. I won't lie, I have tried to record this video before and I died horrifically at one of these pillager thingies. Be free. Oh, dude, point blank. <laughs> that does not honor the Geneva Convention, bro. No, I'm so dead. I'm so... D no! Oh, that looks super cute over there. What's going on over here? There's horses. Oh my gosh, is there... No! The horse is getting burned by the random forest fire. Oh, <gasps> village! What the... Is that an armadillo? What the... F Hello? What is going on over here? Ilsa, did you know that there's armadillos in Minecraft? Come here. What the fuck? You're what? playing... You're playing modded. No, I'm not playing modded. I don't believe you. No, I swear to God, I'm not playing modded. What the fuck? No, I'm not kidding. Look, this is a little armadillo guy. What are you... No, you're playing... I'm not playing modded. This is vanilla Minecraft. Is there a new update or something? Does something just come out? I follow the Instagram, but oh, they're testing it? them. Oh. It's a passive mob found in the Badlands and Savannas. You're not even there. Well, oh I my God, totally you have to and... keep it. Oh, I, I just started. I have nothing. Put it in a boat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boat, boat's boat. the best because yeah, then it won't despawn. Oh. Yes. <laughs> He's in a boat. Oh my god. Maybe I should boat all the That's way. That's so rare. I'm hours. playing in the Badlands in the Savannah and I haven't seen one of them. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to go explore this village. I'm going to... I'll I'll come do some work later. Okay, well, that was just a great little find. I've left the armadillo back in the forest and we're going to go collect him. Oh my... What is this? <laughs> There's a full-on meeting happening over here. They're all meeting. Honestly, this looks like a great little village to post up in for a while. Oh blacksmith let's see is, are we gonna get anything good yes yes dude i'll take that second chest plate too all right we are armored up check me out even i didn't e oh three emeralds let's should we go shopping i didn't even know that you oh guys whoever lives here sorry but the sun's going down what you phased through everything. I'm sleeping. You can stay up, bro. Actually, you know what? Valiant effort, but like that is insane. Did anyone else catch that? That little like phase through the wall situation that he just pulled off. I do really enjoy capitalizing on villages in this game. 
little known trick what you can do is the farmers graciously have like stocked up all of their food supply for the winter you can take the food supply that they've spent however long harvesting literally just sell their own crops back to them and what are they going to do because check me out like i'm gassed up i have an axe like i'm a dangerous figure in this in this space right now but this is a great little area. I'm so excited to show my armadillo the village. Sorry for my sniffles, guys. I've been sick this week. In fact, it has caused giant controversy in the office. There are so many, what are you guys, leather workers? The leather trade must just be actually nuts right now. This is LV, this is Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Minecraft Louis Vuitton. Where is a farmer? Hello, sir. Okay, you're not gonna sell me wheat. But that's okay, because I can just do this, make you normal, and then make you a farmer again. Come back. Come back. Come be a farmer. Oh, no. He's going to the church. No. He's going to be converted. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Farmer. No, no, no. He's locked on to something else. Farmer. Be a farmer. No, this is not good. Dude. No, now he's going to be a cartographer. All right, chill. No, he's locked on to something else. Where are you? Where'd you go? I need you to take up a profession. Yes. No. Come on. Sell me wheat. Yes. He likes that. Oh my God. Stop moaning in my ear like that, dude. I'm just selling you wheat. All right, cool. Off I go. The pillager place is just over here. So I might go see if I can raid that. And then I think we start getting to work on our house because I'm keen to build by the village. Like not super close, but nearby for sure. Cause there's a lot of cool stuff over here. And I found another armadillo. There's another guy. Oh, he just hid from me in his little shell. All right. Well, now that we've got our iron armor, let's go into battle. All right. We're going to hit the quick staircase. I've only seen one pillager so far. Oh, iron. That's so good. Oh, cool. There's so much cool stuff that I didn't know was in Minecraft. Like, what can I put? Sing? That is so sick. Is that going to call like bad guys though? <laughs> That's so good. Let's do a shield. No, there, there's fairies in here. What is Minecraft? What are these things? I personally think that I've just lucked out so hard here with this little spawn area. I don't think I've ever had a more enjoyable Minecraft first day experience in my life. And there's freaking armadillos. Let's do this. Let's go collect some materials. I, I'm probably gonna build my house somewhere like over here, like as an adjacent neighbor to the village. And I'm going to be the, the the middle ground. The the pillagers will be coming for them. I can absolutely do a little bit of good nature. I'm going to do some good work for the community here. And I'm going to build up in between. Let's build right here. And along the way, <laughs> I'm going to be using my, I'm going to be using my goat horn to echolocate where I am in the world. I totally, I totally just destroyed a tree. But what I should have done is said this first. Q fast paced um tree cutting down Q fast Q fast paced tree cutting down montage now. Oh fuck. Way too many big trees in this forest. All right, actually, hold on. Sorry, guys. Resume montage, didn't get enough badge. I, I think this thing is probably my best find. I should have it permanently in my offhand. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I'm going to just grab a little bit of stone from this mine that they have so graciously set up. Oh, there's a little bit of iron here too. Might as well. Oh, iron coal, just what I need. Awesome. Well, this should be enough coal for the entire series. 
Let's quickly terraform this little raised area. You know, guys, I'm sorry that we didn't do as much exploring in this episode as I know many of you guys probably would have liked. And you guys will all be in the comments like, Jax, like, dude, explore your world a little bit more before you settle down. I don't need to explore anymore. I found the most perfect place. Dude, my shovel's almost dead and it's not even... We're not even done. End goals for this is like max level everything. I've never ever got a netherite in Minecraft. That is definitely a huge goal for me. Okay, we need to we need to block this out. So I want the entrance. Look at this little guy. How cute. Maybe I should hmm, no, that's a project for another day. I'm gonna make this base a big circle eventually. One, two, one. Alright, we are officially starting on the house build now. Okay, so the double doors go here, so we can do that. Run out of resources. Need to get more. So I've just left the house construction for a little bit because I am keen to get some sand to make windows. And I remember back over in my spawn area, there was like a big sand island over there. So I've been working really hard on it, like very cool, very modern. So I reckon we need like two stacks of sand, probably, maybe three, three stacks. All right, exactly three stacks collected. And we're gonna head back now to our, to our base. Got the last couple of pieces of glass going in and then we're going to do the roof. Okay, guys, let me take you on a tour. So as you come in through the front door, we've got these are the work rooms. So I've got the birch room. This is like more of like a industrial vibe. And then this will be a little storage area. So we're going to like keep all of our chests in here with all of the noise and ruckus that'll go down here. I wanted a nice little separation to the living area. So this is like where I'm going to sleep. Hold on. Sorry. This is where I'm going to sleep. And I've got the nice floor to ceiling windows all through here, which is super nice. But you know, like since I've been building this house, I thought since it's such like a cool, fun shape, I wanted to get like an aerial, aerial perspective. So let's just build up here. I'm super excited about this. Been dying to know what this looks like from up top. So we got the surrounding areas, we got the forest and the village, you know, working on this all day. And obviously it's not done, but I just really, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I really needed to take a look. Oh, fuck. It looks, it looks like a penis. Yep, yeah, I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. Let's try this again. I just wanted it to be a cool modern design. I can't believe I missed that. Sound the horn everyone, because the house is complete. Let's take another look at the view of the village. And yes, dude. Look at that thing. That's that is sick. I've I've managed to uh really clutch up here. You know, reject modernity, embrace tradition. This is awesome. It's got everything we need. It's got a bed, it's got a chest and a crafting table, three furnaces. Hello, did somebody say rich guy? I think it's so cool, so unique, yet so traditional. And the final thing that we need to do for this episode now is to get our little armadillo guy in there. I'll probably keep him in a boat for now because I don't have a name tag, but I did spy, excuse the gutted house over here. I did spy this man and he is selling nothing that we need, but he does have leads for his llamas. So we're gonna sort them out. Let's sort these guys out too. Come back here. 
And we got some leads. Let's go get our little armadillo friend and we're gonna bring him back to our house and we're gonna put him in a boat. Armadillo. I wonder if we have caught any other critters in the boat. There you are. Sick. All right, come with me. He's definitely struggling to hold a steady pace, but he is a small man, so. Come on, armadillo friend. And come in and go in the boat. Perfect. Just, uh, let's just park you up. Perfect. Well, I think that concludes this episode of Minecraft exclamation mark world. I hope that you'll have a wonderful day. I think that we've made some great progress. And on that note, I'm going to sleep. Goodbye, everybody.